it, buddy. Yay! Hey, we are here at the park. We're gonna look for Elle. Hi, Daddy. Hey, girl. What are we getting right there? Couple reasons. Get wet, muddy, slimy, Thank you, and hit that subscribe button. find what lives there. Now, the only tools you need to find out what lives anywhere in nature is your eyes, ears, nose, fingers, and brains. But in the creek, I'll have a few other tools. We're going to be using some of these tools. I'll show you when we get down there how to use them. I'm going to show you how to, how to carry them now. So I want to show you this net. This is a net made. It's not for made for catching children <laughs> or park rangers, okay? It's made for catching creek creatures. They call it a dip net. And it's made to come apart so you can fix it. The trouble hey, is, it's 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 the main. if this thing slides hey. down and that thing falls off and that thing falls off, all you're left with is yeah. a stick. Yeah, it's and all you can say is, woohoo, I got a stick. Thanks. So, so mm -hmm. if you carry it properly, it won't fall apart. But if it does start to come apart, just don't lose pieces, parents, and try to save your tax dollars at about fifty or sixty dollars a piece. Okay, don't, the one piece that won't sell you is that one right there. Don't lose a piece. Okay, but the way to carry it, let me put this back in. I'll show you. If you put your hand right underneath that little slidey thing like that, it can't slide. Have I got that? Yeah. If you hold it by the slidey yeah. thing, it's going to slide. And don't carry it like that. Oh, it's back, Smite. Don't carry it like that. Drag it to the ground and tear it. And don't care like whack it or whack it because you'll break it. Just hold it like like you're holding a flag or something, okay? okay. And there's how many folks in your class? Oh, I can hide how many folks in? Okay. So, and the other class are uh, 20 to 22. So is it okay? So yeah. All right. So we need a brave volunteer, yeah. Mr. Netman. Come on. Did I see what you were doing? No problem. Oh my So. Uh, what we're doing and how we're doing it. One so, up, Rowan. If I hold still, it's okay. One Colton, so you can hear. Like, so the purpose of the creek walk is yeah, yeah, to the water. The way you use these tools. How cold is it? He's on his partner with the net to the other left. Where's the one that you've been saying on? You want to catch it? You just So Marty Silvers is telling people not to beat them up with their poles and he just whacks me. <laughs> Ilana, are you just playing? Stay up here, okay, buddy. It is cold, and I don't want you to get cold, okay? Okay, can I catch? Smack that thumbs up button and the subscribe. Thank you. Put your hand in there, Em. But it has little tiny claws. Ah, it is! It's crawdad! Oh, okay. My crawdad! A crawdad! I can't crawdad! I don't want to touch it! Can I touch it? How many legs does a spider have? Eight! Can I go to Sissy, please? Do what? Can I go to Sissy, please? Of course. Are you hungry?
Sloppy pat back to the final no! yeah. Now here's what we're gonna do. One bucket at a time, I'll pour it into the pan. While we're looking at those buckets, we have another brave volunteer, Miss Bucket what? Woman. <laughs> do I have to touch anything? Your job is to hold the other two buckets. Okay. Don't let any children look in the buckets. Okay. And don't kick the bucket. Okay. Especially don't kick and the bucket. And don't touch anything in the bucket. <laughs> right. Don't put your hand in the bucket. Yay! Okay. Yeah. How many legs does that guy have? Oh, How many legs? How many legs does he have? One, two, three, four. Plus two short ones in front, altogether six. That, that's oh. a toe biter. So is he a fighter? He's a toe biter. No. He's a toe biter. He's not a toe biter. Oh, he's I don't bite toes. He's a toe biter. Wait, he's not a spider. Spiders have how many legs? Eight. He's got how many legs? Six. Now, if you call him a spider, does he care? Yeah. You can say, pardon me, sir, I'm not a spider. But if you want to be scientific, what kind of critters have six legs? Insects. They call these guys water striders or water skaters or water walkers. The cool thing about being a bug that walks in water is right easily getting stuff. Let's say, for He's example, a creek right. was hopping the grass and fell in the creek. I am going to... Help, I'm drowning! He's on top. He feels all the way. He's going to wait on this. Is there over to help that drowning bug? No! What does he do? He eats the drowning bug. And that's his job. He keeps the creek clean that way. You might notice also, he's got a pale belly and a dark back. Think about like this. A fish is swimming underneath. Look at us. Pale belly, pale sky. What does the fish see? What's that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, birds fly over, look at them. Dark back, dark bug. What does Daddy, the bird see? behind you. Nothing. Does that do camouflage for his habitat? No. The reason I pulled him out first is because when I pour the water, what are you probably going to do? Jump and run. So I'm going to go ahead and just let him go down so he won't get hurt. Pinched. You know what you would say? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. But if you pinch him, guess what you would say? Who's more dangerous, well, crawdads or children? You. Yes. Well, I didn't I'm going to eat now. Did you die? No. Did you die? No. If you finish it, you have to do it. No, no, I don't want to pinch your face back. I 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 want to pinch your face back. So crawdads also have a very important job. Yeah. Guys, y'all are creeping in. Please creep back out. Number one cool thing. <laughs> they can breathe from their hind end. <laughs> Number two cool thing. They can squirt water out their tail and swim. Like, do you ever feel a balloon full of air and let it go? That's how they swim when they go fast. Now, the coolest thing about baby dragonflies is their lip. Here, stick out your lower lip as far as it goes. Okay, quick help. He's up. When he grows mosquito. up, his favorite mosquito dinner is grown-up mosquito. So is he doing a good job for our habitat? Yeah. 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 We're going to get these guys a free ride, and you're going to help. Oh. Right. 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 Here comes the warrior's path. Creatures. I'm not going to pick up the camera right. If you hold these out in the air, what would happen to them? So please stay back so I can see the pan. We have two different kind of soft creatures. Fish and salamander. I caught a salamander. Stay back. Stay back. I caught a I don't think I ever told you the name of the creek, did I? It's called Fish Creek. 
Most of the big fish will live in the lake. When it comes time to lay eggs, they'll cut up here to lay their eggs. And so we have a lot of little babies are the big guys. And the salamander. And the salamander. Why do you see? Where's the salamander? Right there. The oh, there he is. Sally the salamander. Do you know that salamanders can breathe their skin? Yeah. Let's try to see if we can do it. About close your mouth. Hold your nose shut. Try taking a nice deep breath through your big toe. <laughs> I'm glad I can. Do you know why? You smell my stinky feet all the time. <laughs> but that means if any stinky old pollution gets to the creek, guess what happens to salamanders? So if you see salamanders, have you got a good healthy creek. And they're fierce killers. I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. I think we both have in here some things that are yeah, way too big to fall. Uh, it's all putting way too big things to fall on you to big things to fall on you. There is one, there's one different thing. I've actually got the frog These old guys right here. It is not a caterpillar. It is a larva of a bug called a mayfly. A little baby mayfly. So, they call them mayflies because they call them mayflies because guess what month they change the flying month? Hey, that kind of mayfly spends three years in the creek, up to his neck in the mud. One day they come crawling up, they split their skin twice. Told me sometime in old pajamas, fly away. Beautiful big kind of yellowish fly with a long tail. Let me ask you a question. How was you been in that creek, up to your neck in the mud for three years? Well, one day you came out of this beautiful world of ours. How much time would you like to come out? Of? Like, I would like to live once you came out of here. Here's Every how long Mayfly gets to live. Every day. One day. The day they hatch is the day they die. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Let's look at another one. Are we Mayflies? Yeah. We might have years and years and years to play, have a good time, get wet and fun in, and also take care of things you guys do. Because like, we find out all these animals have a job in their habitat. Guess who's got the job helping to take care of their habitat? Us. How can we take care of them right now? Alright, Mr. Netman, which one is your young? That kid. Oh, here, take it back. <laughs> and Mr. Traffic Officer, which one's your kid? The purple. Purple. Purple, purple. Purple, purple. Here we go, purple. And let's, oh, we had two boundary markers. Uh, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's your? Oh, we only have three boundaries. Oh, right. so you three. Your job. Listen to me carefully, Buck Holder. Go back to the edge of the creek. Ease the animals in gently. Touch your buttons. The rest of y'all. Say goodbye to the friends, because you're about to go over there with a different friend. Go ahead, go, 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 push your animals back to the creek. Can't leave them there. Bring them back to the creek. We're taking our critters back. I wanted to do one. No, wash it out. What? Go take that to the ranger, guys. Whoa. All right, Ale, come on. Everybody out. Come on. Did you get everybody out? Mm -hmm. All right. What do I do with this? Put it back there on that pan. Oh yeah, I always carry a couple. Oh, somebody. Oh. Ilana, keep your jacket on, okay? Can I ask a question real quick? Who belongs to this jacket? I don't know. I got Oh, She's trying to tell us something. So, so you know that at my, uh, I'm really going to give you guys some tips on board safety. Like Mr. Murray talked about at the beginning, we're in nature right now. We're in someone else's home, our own home. So we will
Don't touch it. I, that's why I'm gonna stand here <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> it's high above, above the dam. <laughs> Move slowly whenever you're recording. Move slowly. You are. You're poison ivy. What? So we done with our field trip? Get your legs To put in my neck of the woods up in Virginia on old strip mines. Okay. So what happened was when they did these strip mines, they cut off the entire top of the mountain removed all the trees and everything. Do you think that was very good for the animals? No. So they decided when we when we leave, we need to plant something back for the animals. So they chose this autumn olive because they said it grows pretty fast. It has delicious berries for the birds and it'll cover the area back. Was that a good option? Yes. Oh, they thought so. Oh. They thought so. But then in the end, it ended up spreading are you everywhere. Are you? So, what happens when the birds eat berries? Poop them out. Yeah, they poop out the seeds. And so, birds have carried, and I don't know if you guys know this, but there are not any strip mines near this area. So, birds have carried the seeds all the way from wherever to here to plant them. And now they're all over the park. This is a granddaddy long leg. I know, I love them. They're not, spiders. they're not actually spiders, no. They but they're they very bite. but they're very close cousins to spiders. They don't bite us because they don't want to waste their time and energy on it. Instead, if we pick them up and we scare them, they might produce a smell that smells like rubbing alcohol. You guys ever like hand sanitizer kind of? Because they get really scared. Now, do you guys want to hear a story, kind of like a history story? Yeah. 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 So you see how this is a big field area? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So about 100, 150 years ago, a bunch of families uh, arrived here on this land and cleared a lot of the forest because they were gonna make farms. <coughs> and some of them had cattle, where at that time, you didn't have to have fence to keep your cows in. The cows just roamed across the big field. It's not real. So, in the evening, it was the kids' job to come bring the cows in. Now, would you like have a hard time going to find cows? Just one mm -hmm. Yeah. So the kids would find a granddaddy long leg and they would say, Granddaddy, Granddaddy, where did my cows go? And the legend was he would take one of these big long legs and point it in the direction of the cows. Now, if there's cows wandering everywhere, what are the odds that those are your cows? Zero, zero. It's probably not very good. So the kids brought someone's cows home, maybe not. We are headed to the next pit stop. We're teaching the kids about the different trees, trails, and 
critters. So we're here to learn about critters and stuff, and you want to collect rocks, huh? Nice. Ilana. Hi, Chris. So the kids found an owl. Oh, If you guys take your hands and cut them behind your ears, do you hear how loud your voice sounds now? Hello. Do you see the owl? It's definitely way too loud. Do you see the owl? It's a little loud. Mm -hmm. It's not mine. What's not yours? Um, it's not my first time seeing an owl. Oh, yeah? Um, I always go to Oh, no, I've seen mine. I've seen owls a lot because I always go to that place. Um, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's He's looking at me and I don't like it. No, he's looking at me. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, look at him. Alright, let's walk in. No, no, I'm not leaving. I'm staying here. I'll turn it off. Oh my god, it's staring at him. No. But thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. We've come to the end of our hike. Yesterday was the beginning of fall, so the end of a beautiful summer, and now a beautiful fall. <laughs> so now it's lunchtime. Why are you picking the grass? Why not let it grow? I like the grass. Let it grow. Hey, buddy, Ayrston, get over here. Cars are coming. Ilana, get on this side. Get over as far as you can, Elf. Elf, get over as far as you can. So now they are headed to the corner. Do that again, buddy. Do that again. Person's getting ahead. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you Filipino? Yeah. Oh. This is my daughter. Great. Well, if you need anything, you know, don't be afraid to holler. Like if you're, since you're needed, that you're kind of needed. Yeah. You can holler at Cat. Yeah, like you, Cat, and your girl, and Lana. Y'all can have like a play date or something. Yeah, I know. There's other things I do. Go shopping. Are you the one that lives on Washington? No, you're not. No, I'm at Washington uh, Street. Oh, no. Uh, C. C. C Street? Okay. Yeah, that's next to the... Well, we're on Jefferson. Daddy, can I have my food? Yes, are you hungry? Yes. Yeah, no, Say... Daddy, can I have my food? Okay, oh, sure. I can't have it. Can I have it? Yeah. That's fine. Where do you want to eat at? You got a bench, or do you want to eat with your friends? Can I share? I don't mind. Just make sure they don't have like a peanut allergy or something like that. Well, come on. Hey, we got extra. <laughs> Yes, share with, what's her name? That's awesome. Um, you can have some for snacks with us. What's, I, I would just sit down here. You sit down, yes. Hey, how are you? Can you, can you hang on just a little bit? Or you gotta go back? Uh -huh. He's got my leg. It's alright, buddy. We'll doctor it when we get home, okay? There you go, Elle. What do you think? Yeah, Daddy, Man, I don't, that was so fun. Daddy, I don't want you to band aid it. I'm not gonna band aid it. We're just gonna clean it up, though, once we get home, okay? Sound good? Okay. We'll clean it. Oh my God! Not drying up. Okay. Let's say the blessing. But I'm gonna say this. Uh, my school blessing. I heard you. I heard you. Hey, Dad, uh, that is my school food. Hi, Chloe. I like your food. That looks like Filipino. Uh... Yes, it's a fried chicken. Yeah. It's gluten free. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Sometimes we do that with ale. Yummy. Go, buddy. Daddy, you can drink this whatever you want. You can have that. You know, snacks.
What are you gonna do after this? You think you're gonna play on the playground? Yeah, Daddy, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, I'm gonna go to the. You're gonna go to the what? I'm gonna go to the. But I don't like these cheese blocks. How okay. come? Yes, they eat those. Those are so yummy. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth, buddy. Hey, come on, stick out. Okay, okay. You can No, good. Oh, it's a How did you learn how to do it? I moved in the Philippines. Smack that thumbs up button and the subscribe. Thank you.